Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Trev. Pioneer River, the River Street boat ramp. It's been about two weeks since we had the big rains. I want to go out there, see if the water's cleaned up a bit, see if the fish have come back. Let's get out there, see what we can get. out at my secret spot again or close to it everything's flattened out everything's changed water still as dirty as a couple of weeks after the big rains no herring about got salted baits of all sorts I'm going to chuck them out see if I can get a few grunter grunter like these conditions see how we go eh? hey guys running the salted baits today I've got salted prawn salted mullet salted chicken for the big rod pilchards and salted squid I'm gonna chuck them out see how we go I have noticed the grunter seem to like the salted prawn got a couple the other day one got sharked massively let the other one go because it was only just on size feed it onto the prawn they're like rubber hard to get on which means they should be hard to get off. Feed the hook out like so. See how that goes. Looks natural to me. I'd eat that if I wasn't allergic. And out it goes. Tension off in the rod holder as always. Second rod will do a bit of the same at the moment. I might change it up later. Feed her onto the hook as best you can. They're like bloody rubber, these things. But the salt does intensify the scent and the flavor. You know what it's like when you put salt on your own food. And I went over before, there's a bit of a drop off just over there, sand bake here. Hopefully they're going to be hiding just behind it. And we'll go one for the big rod. I did get smashed off the other day 80 pounds, so I've rigged up another 80 pound stinger on it. With a swivel, seems to work alright. See how we go. Go for a pilchard first. Salted pilchards go stiff as. Hardens them right up through the head, sting a hook in the rear in case they bite low. Like so, that'll hang them. Hey guys, spent a couple of hours at the other spot in the middle, secret spot, well close to it. Nothing happening, headed out to the mouth here. See what we can do out here. Got the prawns on still, see all the same ones I put on before. See if they do any good here. And I seem to be on, I've been here for about 10 minutes. Whoa. Is it going to stop? <clears throat> Just eating a sandwich. Salted prawn still on this one that I put on the first thing this morning. About two hours at the other spot, not a bite. Thought I'd come out here, see what's on offer came out this morning but it was too bloody rough around here now the tide gone out a bit it seems to have gone down a bit uh, 
we don't want to go under there that's where the anchor rope is we'd rather not but you want to don't you what have we got here look at the bend in that rod come up <sighs> under the boat of course in the shade oh. oh I can feel it on the hull And a stingray, a spotted stingray, thought it might be, oh, come here, whoa, whoa, busted me off, and I'm on the 40 pound line on the salted squid, Something's just mucking around with it. <coughs> Don't know what it is. Not that big by the feel of it. <coughs> so far. This is the one with the stinger hook on it. I've had this one bitten off about oh, four or five times in the last... few weeks and a remore fish by the look of it stickers on the back that's what they stick to the shark with or any other fish that's big enough to hold them it's not going to stick on me today he's running around 600 Ah, we'll let him go. Off he goes. And on this rod again. Salted prawn. Been here for a little while. Just been mucking around. I've lost a few prawns on it. What have we got this time? A couple of head shapes on this one. Where are we going? Coming towards me. Oh, don't think this one's a stingray. By the feel of it. Oh, it's seen the boat. What have we got? this time oh uh. oh we don't like the boat you can tell oh look at that that is a net job uh. a gold grunter in the net bud javelin fish one grunter that looks like dinner to me what I came out here for because it's the dirty water 400 is legal this one's way over legal it's about the size I got the other day but the shark got him on the way in which is a bit of a bugger one hook out, measure him up first, yeah he's way over, he's running 600, there you go guys, one barred javelin fish, grunter, 600 long, oh 
The other road was getting nibbles. So. Ooh, slow him down a bit. Oh, do I miss him? Oh, bugger. bugger! Pulled the hook. No. Straighten the bloody hook. Well, that's different. And on this rod again. Oh. This one doesn't want to turn. Nearly spooled me. doing where's he going a little run oh he's not finished yet Relatively large by the feel of it. With the 15 pound line, can't put too much pressure on. Why I like my soft, ugly sticks. A shock absorber. Gives it a bit of stretch. Busted him off. Hey guys, that time of the day again. Time to go home. Had a couple of good fights there. Got a nice grunter for tea on salted prawn, which made the whole trip worthwhile. Hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed making it, and I'll catch you next week. You have a good one, eh? If you like what you see, please subscribe, click the bell for notifications and share if you like. You have a good day.